Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're doing Eternity of Pain, week number four, and we're gonna be using Spider-Ham. But first, I wanna show you my overflow. You can see two of the level one revives that are about to expire. So if I don't use them, I'm gonna have to sell them anyway. So I'm not going for the one shot. Uh, I actually have four level ones about to expire, and you'll see that at the end. But you can see there, I haven't even claimed that um, package that Kabam sent us, and it's about to expire. And it has like five level twos and, and the um, energy refills and all that good stuff. So I'm going to claim that uh, a little bit later on um, after I finish this uh, video. All right, so Spider-Ham does both the objectives that we as Thronebreakers can get. Paragon, they get another one, but uh, Thronebreaker gets two objectives they can do and Spider-Ham fits both of them. So he is perfect. You can look at the active buffs. Basically, buffed up, you have to have three buffs on you to do damage. But every time you hit them, there's a chance for them to place a placebo buff. So even if you don't uh, generate buffs on your own, you will be able to get buffs. Unless you're Spider-Man 2099, I still ain't happy about that, but Spider-Man 2099 doesn't gain buffs. So even with those placebos, he won't gain them. He's immune to them. So he is the worst option for it, even though he also fits two of the objectives. Okay, so as the fight's going on, I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so I parry, and I'm doing the medium light medium with uh, Spider-Ham, and uh, I fire off a special one or two, to knock him down, all right? So you wanna knock him down. Either a heavy attack or a special one or a special two. Um, I think the special three counts as a knockdown as well. And you want to do that when you have the D-Gen on you. Because by doing that, you're transferring the D-Gen onto him. That's where you're gonna get the bulk of your damage. So that's what you want to do and he's going to take more damage you see he had two bars of power right there and a little bit when he had the degen on him he was taking more damage because he had more power so the more power you have the more degen damage you take now with spider ham he is highly resistant to degen so you'll notice that i don't take a lot of degen damage uh with spider ham uh and then you add to that Dormammu's degen, because Dormammu has his own degen. If you don't know how to fight Dormammu, now might be a good time to practice, because he's going to put a degen on you if you have a buff expiring and then you hit him. Um, so you want to be careful. Um, but Spider Ham to me is like perfect for this. Now the one thing that is annoying with Spider Ham is the footloose on this node. Because every time he fires off a special, he's going to go unstoppable and you're going to have to bait, wait, dash back, dance around until it wears off. That's annoying. All right. Stealth Suit Spidey can also do this fight and you don't have to deal with that, at least. All right. Um, so you see, look at the damage that he does just into my block. That's a lot of damage into my block. Okay. So preferably, you don't want to keep getting hit into your block. And I kept doing that because that's how I usually fight stun immune and try to bait out a special. But sometimes he just don't want to fire. I mean, uh, bait out a heavy attack. But he doesn't want to fire it off sometimes. All right. So you see here, you know, look at the damage that I've done. This is one of my better runs. When you look at my bloopers, you'll see that my first run was pretty decent. And I thought, okay, let me do another one, see if I can get a better run. But this is the best run after that first run. And I said, okay, that's it. Um, I did good enough that it should take me one revive to get him down. Now, I'm running Suicide Masteries. And it seems like Kabam is making you really pay if you have Suicide Masteries on. Because you'll notice I take a lot of damage from my Suicide Masteries. And sometimes I die because I fired a special and had less than five or 5% 5 or less health, and I took recoil damage and just died, okay? So this run, I'm like, okay, I'm used to the fight now, and I see what I need to do. Um, you'll also notice sometimes that I hit into his block 
that's to back him up because I don't want to get trapped into the corner. Okay, so you see here, I hate when he does that, but you know, he does have a taunt um, that Spider Man puts on him, so he fires his special off. So you do have to deal with that foot loose. All right, and so here we go. Boom, boom. I fired off my special. You kind of want to stay under a bar of power. Now, with Spider Ham, it's not as big of a deal, but you still want to try to stay under a bar of power. Okay? Um, but you can go, and I tried. You'll see in my bloopers, I went all the way to a special three. And I was like, maybe if I go to a special three, get a lot of poppers on him, he'll fire his special three, take a lot of damage, and then I'll die, but at least I'll have made progress. It didn't work out that way, and you'll see. All right? But this run is going pretty well. All right, he's got two bars of power there. All right, now at this point, I need to bait it out because I don't want to deal with his special three. All right, so now I got d -Gen on me. Okay, he's battering into my block. He's not firing a heavy attack. Um, I, he did fire a heavy attack that I should have punished, but I missed my opportunity. Uh, again, distractions, but anyway. All right, so here we go. He's, he's going down. You know, and that's what I was talking about. You saw where I was hitting into his block, just trying to get him away from that corner because I don't want to get trapped in the corner. Okay, so here we go. Trying to get him to do a heavy attack or something. All right, there's the heavy attack. I go in, okay? And, you know, look at this, all right? Boom, boom. All right, now I'm like, yeah, this DJ's gonna get him. He has two bars of power. It's gonna take him out. Yeah, we're doing good and it just stops not enough i'm like oh come on all right so i'm just like all right i got a nice little intercept but i almost pushed him to a special three so now i'm like okay i gotta bait out that special two got to all right so boom 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 all right now we just got four percent left right and i'm like okay we got this all right he started hitting in my block i'm like no you're not gonna hit into my block and kill me got the intercept i'm like yeah all right, he fires a special. Uh, now I gotta wait. I'm like, okay, all right. Let's wait it out, wait it out. All right, he still hit my block. And I'm like, okay, I got him, I got him here. Yes, boom, get that D-Gen on him. Recoil damage, dead. I was like, are you kidding me? Now I could have survived that, but he hit into my block and I was too low and I didn't notice. So that cost me my second revive. And I'm just like, really? And I'm gonna heal up because I take so much degen. Dormammu does degen. Um, I get degen from the node and I'm taking recoil damage and I'm taking the bleed damage and poison damage. I don't want to just heal up and then die real quick and then have to use another revive, even though I have two spare. All right, so here's our final run. Boom, he's done. All right, so. Uh, it took me two revives, two revives I had expiring. I still have two that you'll see in a moment here. But we got him down, at least. A pretty easy fight. And if I didn't have suicides on, I'm pretty sure I could solo that fight. It would just take a little bit longer, but I'm pretty sure I could solo it. All right, there's the first objective. And there's the second objective. And we're done there. Now, I'm going to show you, just before you see the bloopers, uh, I'm going to claim this. I'm going to show you my score. And I'm also going to show you my final stash. Now, something that I noticed uh, only later is that those two revives, I only have two, not four. Those two, and you'll see that when I claim it, they stay there. That's because I don't currently have the sigil. So, um, and that's why I get the sigil, so that I don't have issues in inventory because my inventory is capped out on those revives. That's why they'll stay there right there. All right, but anyway, that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care, hit the like button if you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.